here is what I found as a solution for the overmodulation of the Wasp Gideon action cam, which I really like. It takes great video, plus it was given to me by someone who's kind enough to try to help me out with my moto blogs, but it has a uh, design flaw in that audio is too hot going in, either inline mic or the ambient mic. It's The audio is just way too hot. So, Randy, the engineer at the radio station I work at, at soundprofessionals.com, found this 3.5 millimeter or eighth inch male to 3.5 millimeter or eight inch, uh, eighth inch female variable attenuator or volume control, and uh, it works great. It actually has a little dial over here on this bottom side that you can volume up or volume down. I found that it's just one turn if you start at the top and just roll it one time down from the top. That turned out to be the best volume for me. And it fits in line in your rig, in my case, from my Sony mic to the volume control to the 3.5 to 2.5 step down and then into the camera. Works great. I forgot how much it costs off the top of my head, but I'm going to put it and the link and everything else in, uh, in the description. Works for mono or stereo and has an 8-inch cable, which, you know, more cable than I need. I've got extra cable I have to stuff up in there, but you know, you got to find a way to make it work. Not using it wasn't an option. Comes with a really cool, the Wasp Gideon comes with a really cool wash remote. Uh, and I like to use it and I like the pictures. So, after many attempts with garbled, overmodulated audio, the problem was solved with this little thing here. I want to say it's roughly $12. And again, I'll put all the links and everything in there. So. Thanks to Randy the Engineer, thanks to Coastal Power Sports for the Wasp Gideon, and uh, thanks for watching.